I think if you look at the history of healthcare in America, you can see lots of examples how that system has failed people in diverse groups. And I think there's a substantial lack of objectivity in a lot of the discourse today about the U.S. healthcare system and where it's failing and where it could improve and how it could improve. The big drivers of disparities are systemic and healthcare is a complex system. And so unwinding that and improving a complex system is really difficult. The research that our team produces is a retrospective analysis of claims data. And you can see the disparities very, very clearly that can't really be explained by other variables. You know, we found that socioeconomic status is now one of the biggest indicators of, you know, health outcomes in patient populations throughout the United States. So there's always a new question, there's always a new challenge, and our clients come to us with really a variety of different perspectives and a variety of different challenges that we need to solve. The first step to addressing these issues is understanding them. And the data that we're working with right now is not comprehensive. So it's very difficult for us to assess the impact of different factors without having data to drive that. So when we're trying to understand, you know, the disease burden of a certain patient population, we want to make sure that we can paint an accurate picture of what's happening to them over their treatment patterns and their patient journey. Helping our clients understand the populations, where the gaps are, they're innovating around solutions to improve care and helping them measure and evaluate that progress, I think is really exciting. I think all of our clients are interested in identifying and addressing health disparities and health inequality. And I'm hopeful that we're able to at least shed light on these issues and their implications as a first step towards addressing them more comprehensively.